Hey, what's going on everyone? It's B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. This one is from 20th Century Fox, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Uh, we're going to see what this is about. Uh, pretty much over the X-Men franchise. Hopefully everything works out with Disney acquiring all the film and television rights. But Fox said they're going to ride this thing to the wheels fall off. So uh, not too thrilled about this trailer or this movie, but maybe, um, you know, this can be pretty good. So let me put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. Excuse me. You think you can fix me? Jean, you are not broken. This is the end. This is the end. The mind is a fragile thing. It takes only the slightest tap to tip it in the wrong direction. This is the end. Charles, what did you do? I had to keep her stable. I protected her. Hmm. From the truth? She killed the parents? There's another word for that. I came looking for answers. You feel like you don't belong here. You don't. They can't begin to comprehend what you are. She's changing. And what? You didn't come here looking for answers. You came here looking for permission. Jean. She's all rage. Pain. And it's all coming out at once. Jean lost control, but she's still our friend. This is your fault, Charles. The world is on the brink. I'm sorry. I didn't stop it sooner. You're always sorry, Charles. And there's always a speech. And nobody <laughs> cares. There's still hope. Don't do this. They're right to fear me. I've seen evil. And I'm looking at it now. Hmm. February 14th. Okay, did they say that it was an IMAX? Experienced in an IMAX. It didn't say it was filmed in IMAX. Um, that is a big difference. Well, I mean, that was cool. It didn't just blow me away. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and say that it looked horrible. Um, I just know. I mean, I, I saw X-Men Apocalypse. It was OK, uh, but yeah, it was just OK. There was a lot of disappointing parts to it. And, uh, you know, it's a shame because uh, what is his name? Uh, Matthew Vaughn, who did X-Men um, not Days of Future Past, but X-Men First Class. I thought that was fantastic. That is still in my top 10 favorite comic book movies of all time. But ever since then, the quality of the films just continue to go down. And, um, you know, that's just unfortunate. So I did like X-Men Apocalypse. It was disappointing. Um, I really wasn't a fan of Phoenix, not Phoenix, but Jean Grey kind of getting her Phoenix powers way, well at the very end. Um, I just didn't think her character was developed enough. But, you know, to go there based off, you know, the X-Men lore that I know. But, you know, when you have all these adaptations, you know, that is, that's what it is. An adaptation is supposed to change things. But, you know, they didn't change things for the better. I do like in this trailer here where Michael Fassbender, um, excuse me, Magneto, says, Charles, you're always sorry and you're always giving the speech and nobody cares. I think that was my favorite part of the whole trailer because that's kind of true. And I understand where Charles Xavier... Um, uh, what is his name? The guy playing Char um, McAvoy. I understand where he's coming from, but at the same time, that's kind of frustrating, you know. Um, especially because they have two completely different backgrounds. Magneto, not Magneto, but Professor X, James McAvoy. You know, he grew up in in privilege and had everything pretty much handed to him. And, you know, just had great life experiences in the mansion. Of course, we know Magneto was, uh, you know, in concentration camps and things like that. So 
Um, I it, it's I, I I can you know I I was talking to a friend of mine and I'll just say something just completely just tragic you know happened to him and he was just like oh my gosh I can't I, I don't want to give too many details but he was just really upset and just like you know this this is messed up you know and I was mad at God and I just don't understand why this had to happen to me randomly and you know it was affecting my work and then I met this girl at work. And she was trying to cheer me up and she was just so ignorant, had no idea what was going on. But is it going to say something like, well, it'll be OK because Jesus loves you. And it's just like, OK, that may be true. But at the same time, like you're telling me this and, you know, like you're trying to tailor, you know, my feelings and you have no idea where I'm coming from or what I've, I've experienced. And that's kind of the way between, you know, uh, Magneto and Professor X there, because you know, he's just always like, you know, we have to be the better man and yada, yada, yada. And Mag Magneto's like, dude, shut the hell up. So that was my favorite part of the trailer. Uh, you know, but we're going to see. I think when I read that this is going to be, they're going to be going in space and things like that. This is going to be directed by uh, Simon Kinberg, who was the, pro he's been a producer with 20th Century Fox for a lot of the X-Men films. But now this is going to be his first lead feature. But, um, you know, we're going to see. It looks okay, but I'm not too thrilled about it. But guys, that is just my opinion for the Dark Phoenix trailer. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. Also, look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen, and I made it very easy by providing links to all that down in the description box below. Um, but guys, please help me reach my uh, goal, my milestone of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.